I used to watch you um, in 2019. Yeah. And now we're racing together there. You come back speaking fluent it, Japanese. It's still quite weird. I think you still haven't got me that we are racing, well, sort of not against each other in the same team, yeah. but in different cars where we used to race yeah. in the same car together. Home race together, two cars. Prince Jeffrey Ibrahim aboard the Triple Eight Man Filter AMG. After a third place finish at a challenging Bathurst 12 hour event, the Johor Racing Team spirits were hopeful, leading into the first race of the GT World Challenge Asia Series. With a new continent and track comes new challenges. Prince Jeffrey gets straight back to work in preparation for another gruelling race but this time alongside his brother, Prince Abu Bakar, at their home race in Sepang, Malaysia. Definitely been a, a long few weeks, you know, prepping up for Bathurst. It was my first endurance race over there, and it's just a lot of preparation coming to that race. And then on Monday, right after the race, flew back here. And now I'm here in Sepang, and we have another race weekend. So it's been a really long week, but an exciting one. There's a tremendous history with uh, with Mercedes-Benz, and it goes right back to uh, to the sort of post-war period in the family. So I think they respect that. It's a nice link to have. But at the end of the day, you know, you've got to look at the here and now. And the here and now is that the Mercedes-Benz program has been very good. We're proud to be involved, both as JMR and Triple Eight collectively. We're proud to be involved with um, Mercedes AMG and of course uh, delivering the, the result at Bathurst on the podium only cemented the, the relationship for, uh, for JMR and Triple Eight uh, with AMG. I would say it is a proud moment and a special moment to see Triple Eight Race Engineering running two cars. I had my first race here in 2019. It was my first debut race um, in the GT3 and we were a one car team and now coming back after three years and not only having two cars on the grid, but having my brother alongside me in the other car, it's really a special um, and a proud moment as well. I would describe Bru as, he's a natural in whatever he do, um, so he has a really good skills in, in whatever he does. Uh, he he's a fast learner, um, quiet at times, and wild at times too, in, once he's in the car, so I think he, he transformed into a different person once the helmet is on, but uh, yeah, interesting man. So the drivers for this weekend will be uh, in car triple eight, Jasmine Jaffa and my brother, Abu Bakr, and alongside me in the car 99 is Nick Foster. G'day, I'm Nick Foster. Uh, the pro for Car 99, Triple Eight, JMR Racing. During the race weekend, you know, I'll work directly with um, Prince Jeffrey and, and focus on his driving to make sure he's driving to a level that he's capable at, looking after the tires, looking after the car. Um, yeah, making sure every, all the, the little one percenters are ticked off, which kind of add up over the course of a race. Um, so far, he's doing a really good job and um, naturally we have stuff to keep building on. Um, but yeah, so far it's uh, off to a good start. Hi guys, I'm Jasmine Jafar. Um, I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and we're here for round one of the World GT Challenge Asia. It's my home race. Well, I met uh, Bu seven years ago. Um, I remember Bu as a young little boy that uh, was a huge adrenaline junkie. I love his passion with everything he does, uh, with the focus he puts into racing, and most importantly, he's just so relaxed, so it's less stress for me. <laughs> Uh, growing up with Boo, I mean, of course, he was he's a few years younger than me. But I taught him a lot. I taught him how to ride a bike, ride a bicycle, and then also to probably to drive. I don't remember. So we are like best friends, and we we, we get along very well. Um, and I, I see him like just a, a a very best friend of mine. My initial impressions of uh, of Boo are unreal. The guy, first of all, the mullet, love it. And uh, yeah, just got an awesome attitude when it comes to, to driving and the way he goes about everything that he does in the car. Um, outside of the car, works hard with JJ as well. 
So um, yeah, they'll be a force to be reckoned with through the year too. So for the whole team as a, as a whole at JMR, we, we are quite a strong little operation at the moment. Racing in my home country, of course, it's special. It's our home race. Um, I've had my, as I said, my first GTs here, my first GT debut here and first win even here in Malaysia. So it is really special for us and especially as the team is growing as a two team um, and to be racing home race with my brother and having a lot of support from family, friends and then everyone else feels really great. With two high stakes races across two days, Johor Racing look to get their GT Asia Championship off to a winning start against fierce competition and stifling humidity. Hot and humid, of course, that's what you'd expect here, but most importantly, we are going racing again. Here we are in Sepang for the first uh, round of the Asian Championship in 2022 with the support of the, of the family. The, the prince's mother has, um, Her Majesty has been to, to races with us before and uh, traveled all around Asia to come and to watch um, Prince Jeffrey and now she, here she is supporting both of them. So it's really good to have them, have them all here. to Sepang, it's great to be back. 37 months ago, we were racing here two years off because of the pandemic, and yesterday we relaunched. It's the Fanatec GT World Challenge Asia, powered by AWS. Sorry, looking at the lights on the gantry, they're on red, they're on green, nice quick early flick, and it's actually caught Adrian De Silva out. And into second place goes uh, Prince Abu Bakar. A strong start to race one, Prince Abu Bakar's GT car had fuel issues and was forced to have an extended pit, putting him out of podium contention. The 888 Mercedes back into the race after its pit stop, so whatever that was, that wasn't a standard pit stop, but something has been fixed. Nick Foster is bringing it home. The 99 Mercedes, not far to go now. So victory, the first one of 2022, Fanatec GT Racing here, goes to Nick Foster, flashing the lights. Uh, to be honest, it felt great, you know, um, coming back from Bathurst, had my first podium there, and then coming back here, it was really nice to, to get the momentum going and, and got my first win here and first overall win uh, in my home race in, in the GTs. We had a really good start. Yeah, running comfortably P2 overall, which was good. Um, he had good pace, and then we had a bit of a technical issue with his car, so unfortunately we had to, to pit, reset, and then at the back of the pack or the, when we rejoined, so it wasn't ideal for him. I think they have a stronger car than us uh, in, in 99, so hopefully we win today and tomorrow is their day or friends, whatever it is, but I think we just had to keep on pushing and and take the positive from today and keep on pushing for tomorrow and, and, and we'll see what we end up. The eight drivers in the cockpits and their eight teammates, they have got something to prove today. Foster in yesterday's winning car, that's the 99 Mercedes. Who's got the better start? Looks like a good start from Nick Foster. Both the Mercedes going very well indeed. Jeffrey Ibrahim, can he make it two wins from two? But I would say very little chance. The top two into the pit lane, Jasmine and Jafar out of the triple lane. With Jeffrey Ibrahim's car, the 99 Mercedes, move up to fourth place. 888 Mercedes coming around the final corner of this 15 turn lap. Deservedly up on that second to place the podium. A redemption day for Prince Abu Bakar and Jasmine Jafar claiming a second place for Johor Racing, placing the team first in the GT Asia Championship. A great result for the Royal Brothers and their team's championship aspirations. Very proud of you with uh, the performance you gave for the team. I think it's something that you should be proud of as well. You drove very well, kept your head down, kept it very cool even to the last lap. So I think take this as a positive and, and move on to the next one even stronger. Really proud of you. Huh? Good job. Yeah, it was a surreal moment for, I think, the both both of us. The grid will be bigger. I think 20 cars in Japan, so that would be interesting. I think 
there will be some positive and negative, but I think mostly positive of having more cars on the grid. You'll enjoy it. The start will be much more noisier and chaos. Yeah, we've got to step up our game as well. No, exactly. I think we will get there. Ah, well, looking forward to it. Good job.